Hello there, welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I mentioned that I was going to do a glamorous hair and makeup tutorial. And as I was thinking through it, I thought, you know, I've already done two makeup tutorials. And so I thought it might be more beneficial to actually do two hair tutorials in this one video, and then just do a makeup look that I've already done a tutorial on. So I will link this makeup look in the description box below. So if you're interested in how I did my makeup for this video, check that out. But for today's video, I'm going to give you two options to help you style your shorter pixie cut in a more glamorous style. So the first one I'm just calling you sophisticated glam. It's going to be super easy, not a whole lot to it. Anybody can do this. You just need one extra little tool. And then the second one is going to be if you want to just go all out glam. And for that look, I'm also going to change out my lip color and I'll let you know what that is. So if you're new here, be sure you hit that subscribe button. And now let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm just going to roughly comb through my hair and most of the products I'm using today are my regular go-to products. So if you've been curious, you haven't watched any of my videos before, you will be seeing all of my favorites in action. The first one being the Catwalk Root Boost and all of these products will be listed and linked in the description box below this video as well. All right, so to start off, this is a product that's kind of a little bit like mousse, but you just spray it, kind of aim it close to the roots. I'm kind of always in a hurry, so I'm not real careful about where I put it, but <laughs> I kind of try to aim at the areas that I know I need a little more lift. So for today, I know I'm going to want a little more here along the part, and I am going to give you two different looks. So. The second look is definitely going to require a little more volume, so I'll kind of give you some tips on that as well. And then the second product I'm going to use in my hair today is one I think I've only used maybe once or twice when I first tried it out. It's the Redken Oil for All. I just pulled this out of my cupboard. I thought, you know, this is a good kind of all-around basic oil. It adds a little bit of shine, a little bit of protection, and just kind of softens the hair a little bit but I don't really feel like it weighs down the hair, which is really important. And I'm being careful not to really get that into the roots of my hair, just concentrating it more on the ends because I do want some added shine today. And now we're gonna go ahead and dry the hair and I'm using the T3 Cura Professional Hair Dryer. I get a lot of questions about that, so I thought I would try to remember to tell you what I'm using. And as I blow dry, I am going to blow dry it basically in the direction that I normally cut my hair, which is over to the right. iron to kind of straighten out a few sections also to kind of help correct this back section. I wasn't super careful in blow drying and you can see my cowlick is really kind of performing well today so we're going to fix that but I'm just going to use this a little bit through the front here. I really don't feel like I need too much but I do like to add a little bit of lift with the flat iron. This is the Chi flat iron. I know they make a lot of different ones. This one has adjustable temperatures on it and I use it at 370 most times. So just going to bring that through kind of the front section. And then I always just kind of like to pull it through the top here 
I like a little more lift and volume there. And then through the back section, I'm just pulling out the hair. And then this is where I'm going to attempt to kind of correct uh, this little back section. I don't mind a little spikiness back here and I think it's even fun, especially on kind of a more glamorous look like this. But you can do whatever you prefer back there, but I just think it's easier sometimes to just let the hair have a little fun. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pull that through the back. Okay, I looked at the back and it's not too bad at this point. So now we're gonna go in with my favorite styling paste or wax. It is literally called dry wax. I get a lot of you ask, what is that product called? Dry wax, and it's by the brand Enjoy Hair Care. And this is a very wax-like and stiff texture, but you just need to warm up a little bit in the palm of your hand, or you can use your blow dryer to warm it up as well. I'm gonna start with a small amount and kind of work this into kind of the back section of my hair first and kind of scrub around in that cowlick section there. And then I'm gonna pick up just a little bit more and work some into this front section. The thing about this is it does not dry immediately, so you don't have to worry about fixing each section of hair before you move to the next. So I like to just distribute it all throughout my hair first and then go back and start styling it. So you might be saying, Shirley, this is what you do all the time. Yes, but I'm gonna throw in a little twist here. Just wait for it. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to now kind of pull these sides down and I'm just taking my nails, literally, and using that to kind of flatten the perimeter of the hair. I do have an undercut, so you'll be seeing that more in the second style here. Now this front section, for this style, I actually want more hair right here coming forward. And then we are going to do something fun with this section right here. So once you get that kind of where you want it, go ahead and hairspray just a little bit, kind of the back section, this side, and then this front section as well. Adding just a little bit of body. And I'm sorry if I'm not looking directly at you all the time. I have to look in the mirror sometimes to see exactly what I am doing. So we're doing that. Okay. Right, so now before we finish spraying the hair, we're going to add that little extra touch of glam. And to do that, I told you you're going to need one little extra tool. And I think using a really pretty little tiny comb like this or a fancy bobby pin. Let's see, this one has kind of, this is gold with some little um, jewels on it, or you could use a tiny little barrette like this. I am going to use this little comb, but sometimes these don't work, especially if you have thinner, finer hair. So I'm gonna show you another trick to do first, and then we'll put that fancy little comb in. So I'm just taking a regular old bobby pin, and by the way, don't use your teeth to open them. Your dentist will kill you. <laughs> and so what I'm going to do is I am going to take this section, which is far enough back to where I still have kind of almost a full bang section here. And so I'm going to take this section. It does have some, some shorter hairs in it. Now you may need to wrap this with a comb or you can take your fingers and just kind of add a little extra volume here first. Okay, so I'm gonna first grab this with my right hand, kind of find the hair that I want to do this with. Then I'm going to use my left hand to hold that, put the bobby pin in the hair, okay? So that's like plastered it down. I mean, there's nothing glamorous about that, right? <laughs> okay, so first we're going to just slightly kind of fluff this up here. You can kind of pull it out of that bobby pin just a little bit. 
And then I'm now going to go in with my little fancy comb here and we're gonna go right over the top of that bobby pin and we're gonna hide it. We're gonna make it look like that pin is doing all of the work. Okay, and then if you have a second one and you want to add another one in, you can. I have a second one here. You could add in two, you could add one like right below it. That's kind of cute too. All right, so let's leave that. And now we've got our front section because I didn't put a whole lot of hairspray in it, there or in these bangs, they're still a little bit flexible. So I'm gonna go back now with my flat iron and just add a little more of a lift here. And now we're just gonna kind of fluff these bangs a little bit. I'll add a tiny little bit more of Enjoy Dry Wax here. And now I'll just spray that in place. All right, I popped in some earrings and now here is our finished sophisticated glam look. Now you may need to play with this section a little bit just to kind of get the right amount of hair for you personally and how much you want tucked in there. I had a little stray extra little bit right here. You can tell this hair is quite short, but because I started off with that Enjoy Dry Wax and a little bit of hairspray, it allowed me to just kind of tuck that in there and then spray it in place. And it will stay because we have that bobby pin in there first. That is going to help <laughs> this whole section stay in place. And now you are ready to go to your party or your evening out. And it just gives your hairstyle just a slightly different look than you were wearing probably during the day. This is also a great style in case you are starting off with dirty hair. This would actually work even better because you'll have just a little bit more volume already there. So now that we've finished this sophisticated glamorous look, I'm gonna show you now how to take your short pixie cut into more of a bold, glamorous look. All right, so I started off by changing out my lip color. And you can see even by doing that, that kind of makes this look even a little more glamorous. But it also kind of gives me inspiration for where I want my hair to go. So what I did is I added the Smashbox Be Legendary Lip Liner in dark reddish brown. And then I used the MAC lipstick in the shade Odyssey. It is kind of more of a deep burgundy shade, but it does have a little bit of a violet pearl in there. And then at the very end, if I decide I want to add just a little more of a purple flare, I might add a little gloss, but we'll see. So now let's go ahead. I'm going to take out my earrings and let's take these fun little clips out of our hair. For this next look, you could leave your front bang section coming forward, but I want to give you something different. The main goal of this particular look is we're going to show off the undercut. So if you don't have an undercut, you can still get a similar look and I'll show you how to do that. But to start off, I'm going to just kind of comb through, loosen up a little bit of that hairspray. So this is definitely a look that would be better at the end of the day or if you're doing second day hair, this will work because you kind of want that little extra grit in your hair to start with. And I'm going to just comb this up and off my forehead. And as I do that, I combed out some of the hairspray so I can tell I'm gonna need a little extra kind of help with my Enjoy Dry Wax. But I'm not gonna really do anything different back here, so I'm gonna leave that alone. But here on the side, I am going to work this back just a little bit. Okay, so now with my Enjoy Dry Wax, I'm going to add a touch more here in the front. And I mean, just a touch more. With this, you wanna just go in small increments, a little bit at a time. And I'm going to work this just in this front section. Again, this is something that like, if you'd had your hair styled for the day of work, you could just easily work through this front section, restyle it and be ready to go. So you don't wanna have to redo your whole hair. So just work a little extra, enjoy dry wax here in the front. And as I go along, if I feel like I need a little extra body, 
just gonna kind of scrub into the roots of the hair and that enjoy dry wax it really does help add body and volume which is different than most pomades that you use okay so before we spray that in place I'm now going to work on this section and I'm going to just put a little bit of wax on my fingers so that as I'm combing this back, it's going to grab the little tiny hairs that are kind of going to try and sneak out of our little clips here. All right, so I'm going to kind of section this off so you can see I have this kind of back section and then this front section. I'm going to, because I've got that little bit of wax on my fingers, it's going to help as I twist this hair and as I twist it back I'm going to go underneath this little section that I've pulled up and I'm going to use my regular bobby pin and pin that in place and just make sure as you pin it you go underneath that second section. So that is going to be kind of the main part that you really want to be secured back. And then the second section, we are also going to twist back, but this is one that I feel like it will stay with just my cute little pin here. So I'm gonna go ahead first and pin this, and I'm gonna pin it kind of up towards the top of my head. And then I'm gonna take my other pin and I'm going to kind of work this over that first bobby pin there to disguise it. Actually, I'll probably go right in front of it. All right, so now we've got this nice sleek section. Now, if you don't have an undercut or yours is starting to get a little long, you can take a little extra wax on your finger and you can just tuck this hair behind your ear if you have longer hair. I'm going to just use a little bit of wax just to kind of smooth that out because mine is starting to grow out. It just grows really fast. Okay, now this front section, I'm going to work with a little bit of hairspray and I'm going to now spray this in place. And again, I kind of want it to look a little textury up here. You can kind of do whatever suits you best. But now I'm gonna take this hairspray and I'll probably do a little extra, there we go. I have a little extra lift there. All right, and then we're going to spray it in place. And then as the hairspray is drying, you can just grab a section and kind of tuck and roll, roll that section of hair into kind of the next section. And that is just going to help Kind of make it look like you've got kind of um, more pieciness up here, more piecey texture. And then I'm going to take my flat iron here on the side and just pull that through this little section here. All right. And a little final quick hairspray just in this front section. I don't need to do the back again. And now this front right here, if you have little baby hairs growing like I do, you can use your hairspray or you can use your Enjoy Dry Wax just to kind of gently push those thing, those hairs up so you don't have kind of baby flyaways coming forward. And then here on the side, you can kind of gauge according to how long your hair is here, but I kind of want to push that back a little bit so that it doesn't cover up these cute little pins right here. So you can kind of decide if you want to do that or not. All right, so I popped in some really, really fancy earrings. Kind of goes along with what my clips look like. And then I'm just going to pop on just a little bit of this gloss right here. Just to kind of add a little bit of an edge to this lip look kind of goes along with kind of what we've got going on here okay now here is our finished look so you can see by just a couple of simple changes it took that kind of sophisticated glam look a little more subdued look and i think really elevated it into more of a fun all-out glamorous look 
Also changing out the earrings and the lip color helped as well. So hopefully this gave you some new ideas to try either on New Year's Eve or any other fancy events that you may have coming up. If you're interested in additional ideas and inspiration of how to style your short pixie cut or undercut pixie, I have another video that has four styles that includes ways to actually make your hair look like you have beachy waves in it too. So I will link that video up here and in the description box below along with all of the products that I used today and the makeup tutorial for my eye look today. Thank you as always so much for watching. Be sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos in the future and I'll see you next time. Bye.